They'll take their swings off the veteran right hander Jordan Lowes now 31 years old making his 21st start. Lowes serves one of the year to left field. Playable for Austin Hayes. Yeah. A little roller to the right side. Perfectly placed and he is safe at first. Didn't hit it all that hard but. Got a slider. In the year softly right side and Urias makes a basket catch reaching over his shoulder from second. Here's Luke Rayleigh Tampa Bay's designated hitter today. Three two and a ground ball chopped toward the middle backhand and it's going to go beneath the glove of Urias over to third goes Choi. The Baltimore defense has been a little lethargic here in the top of the first inning. So two on for Josh Lowe. 24 year old right fielder and he gets low and gets out of the first on a strikeout big time right there and taking the hill for the Tampa Bay Rays left handed 30 year old Ryan Yarborough going out for his 11th appearance eight start 0 and 5 record 5 6 1 ERA 26 punch outs only 13 walks a little tapper up the middle towards short walls is there and he gets the weak contact. The swing and miss. So Santander is out number two. First strikeout for Yarbrough. Two strike pitch. And he got him. So a nice first inning here for Yarbrough. Two strikeouts, a man left. We go to the second inning. No score. So one away. So here's Brett Phillips. It's a fly ball to right from Brett Phillips. Santander back of the wall will put it away. With a hop skip in front of the Gecko side. Pushes Santander all the way back to the wall. A little bit of a leap at the end. Strike one to Taylor Walls, number eight hitter. Right to third base, and Nevin snatches it. I don't know if that ball, if he caught it or the ball caught him, but it was a rocket. He hits Hayes, so no sooner do we talk about that than Hayes is hit by a pitch. He's aboard at first with a hit by a pitch for Trey Mancini. And a nice job right there as he gets the swing and miss and strikes out Mancini. So now a base hit could give the Orioles the first run. Two and two to Santander. He drills one into the gap. That's going to be a hit with a runner in scoring position and extra bases to boot. Hayes is in. Santander to second. And RBI double unlocks the scoring. And he owes strike first in the third. So the makings of another good home start for Jordan Lyles. Accidental contact. Lyles off the mound. Jump throw to get him. Come on now, big fella. The 12 year veteran bouncing off the mound. Bring a little smile to his face. Phillips, who flight out to the wall his first time. A third straight breaking ball with two strikes, and Phillips is toast. Little slider right to the top of the zone. And ball four. Taylor Walls is aboard. And Lyles has just walked the eight and nine hitters in succession. So here is Brandon Lau. And now Lau with a pop up. That is a big one. Infield fly rule in effect on out number two. So here's one of the best runner in scoring position hitters in the majors, G Man Choi. And a ground ball flatly to shortstop. Only play is at first for Mateo. He makes it. Wonky command in the fifth, but Lyle still cuts through it. It's a real anomaly. On his 100th pitch, Lowe slices a single in front of McKenna and gives the Rays their first hit since way back in the first inning. Three walks in between, but Tampa Bay with just its third hit of the game. We're trying to end his day with Roman Quinn. Runner goes on the 3 2, and there's ball four upstairs. And Brandon Hyde's going to go bring in somebody. He's going to go to the left hander. All right, we're going to find out now. CNL Perez. And he'll be up to the left hander. CNL Perez now making his 40th appearance of the year. And we figured the Rays would pitch hit. They do with Randy Rosarena. And the Rays have two men on here in the sixth. Big strikeout hitter for the Rays. He will go down swinging. Didn't get a piece of this one. Perez escapes the jam. Boy, he's been masterful today as Yarbrough. It just looks like a hittable pitch, but for whatever reason, the Orioles right now just not picking it up. Not a big strikeout pitcher on the season. 
That has changed this afternoon. So this is a real show of faith in Baker. Who gets Paredes, Rayleigh, and Lowe in the eighth inning. And he'll go to the fastball up the middle and Odor is Rugi on the spot. Coach is doing their homework, got the guys positioned just right. And there. that's a free base for the Rays hit by pitch. You know, hopefully right now Josh Lowe can stay hot and, and go out there, drive a ball in the gap because three two. Runner does not go, and there is ball four. So two straight free passes for Tampa, and Quinn will bat with a tying run in scoring position. A slow ground ball from Quinn. The play will be made at first by Mountcastle. The runners up a base. Well, and here comes Brandon Hyde, too. He's going to go to Felix Bautista, it looks like. Yeah, I do, because the Orioles have had a lot of success off of Rosarena on the inside part of the plate and plus fastball, so I think it's the right move. He goes to the splitter. And another batter falls victim to the mountain. So a one out double for Austin Hayes. And a big ovation now from this crowd for Trey Mancini. Before the trade deadline on Monday, and not knowing if this will be his final Oriole home game or not. In the air to right. Lowe will drip back. Lowe doesn't see it. Lowe lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be waved home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. Well, I can tell you this. If it's his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. And neither will the fans here in Baltimore. But I don't think Josh Lowe ever saw it. And in case it was. He has left this crowd with the moment they and he will never, ever forget.